That's very good. We invite people to come to our church. Do you ever have family homecomings in your family? Sometimes. Sometimes. So who comes? Is it family that comes? Friends and family. Well, I got a picture here. And this is a place when I was a kid. Actually, actually not a picture. It's an engraving. And it's a picture of my grandpa's house. And we used to go once a year to my grandpa's house and have homecoming. And all my cousins and friends of cousins, and brothers and sisters, aunts, uncles, everybody showed up and we had a great time. But you know what was so special was my grandpa and my grandma. They loved Jesus Christ. They loved to tell the story of Jesus. And my grandpa would always have a long prayer with us. He would sit and talk with us. And he would tell us the greatest place to have homecoming is in heaven. Where are we going to live the longest? Are we going to live longer here? Or are we going to live longer after we die? Do you know we live after we die? And we live forever. So literally, we're all living forever. Our body's not going to live forever. But... You, who you are, your jokes, your humor, your anger, your love, your thoughts, you, your personality is going to live forever. So what is so important is we need to make sure that we all know Jesus as our Lord and Savior. That's why Jesus came and died on the cross so that we can live with him and live with each other in heaven forever and ever. And that is the greatest homecoming. And that's what's so special about sharing homecoming. Is we're only having a taste right now of what we're going to have for eternity, eternally if we live with Jesus. And you know, what are we going to do after we um, have our sermon and say our prayer? What are we going to go do outside? Eat. 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 Do you know we're going to have a big meal in heaven waiting on us? Yes. And also, with that, in that meal, we're going to have the meal with the Lord and the exact same meal as they had when the Lord was going to go on the cross. That's right. He's going to be there serving us, taking care of us. You know what? The older you get, you'll understand this. When you eat something good, the bad thing is you get full and you can't eat no more. You ever had that problem? Eat until you almost get sick. Or you have so much fun that you get tired of having fun. You ever get tired of having fun? Sometimes you do because you've got to go to bed and sleep and hopefully do it the next day. But what's good in heaven, you can eat all you want. All the ice cream. If there's ice cream in heaven, and I think there will be. <laughs> chocolate and sprinkles. And all right, peanuts. all right, stop. When good. I'm getting hungry. All right. So, yes. I think chocolate chip, anything we like here, <laughs> and we're going to have fun and fellowship. Yeah, all that stuff. Yes. I can eat around because I won't get sick at all. Oh, so you're pretty good at eating. And whatever, whatever is in heaven that we can eat is it even better in heaven. Absolutely. Than it is here. It'll be just right, like you always wanted it. So that's what we need to understand. We not only need to make sure we go to heaven, but our moms and dads and brothers and sisters and uncles and aunts and people we go to school with, we need to tell them how much Jesus loved us and how much Jesus died on the cross because we want them to go to heaven, right? That, that's what it's happening. Because if you don't go to heaven, the sad thing to think about is where do we go? We go downstairs. And what the Bible says, downstairs is a bad place. And it's not downstairs in church. It's downstairs to live with the devil. And we don't want to do that. That's why Jesus loves us so much. We want to go live with him in heaven. Any questions before we close? Okay. All right, you can go join your seats now. <laughs>